everyone, it's Sammy from Sammy Sweet Life, and today is a little bit of a sad video. This is not a video for children, so if you've got kiddos in the room, you're gonna wanna put on some headphones or watch this at another time, because we are gonna talk about sad doggy things. So a couple of days ago marked one year of being a dog-free family. We lost our dog Bella last January, and since then we have not had a dog for an entire year. And I wanted to do a video about this because it's something that's totally new and different for me. I grew up always having a dog. I don't think there was any time in my life that we were dog free. Johnny and I moved out like right after high school and had an apartment for a while. A couple of months, maybe even weeks into that, we ended up adopting Bella and Maya together. And so there wasn't a whole lot of time for us being dog free ever, just my whole entire life. Johnny's family did have a family dog when he was growing up too, but he remembers like the day that they got their dog. My mom had a dog before she had me. So there was always a dog there for me, except that basically this last year is my first year being dog free. It's different and it's not something I'm sure I completely 100% love. I'm just so used to having a dog there. At first it was really weird. We ended up losing our dogs really quick, like back to back over the course of a little while. We had four dogs and they ended up just like dropping like flies. Once the oldest one passed away, the other ones just kind of followed and it was really hard to go from basically four dogs to no dogs in the matter of just a little while. And the beginning was hard. It's hard to not have those normal routines. I had to vacuum every day with the dogs. I fed them multiple times a day. I was always filling up a water bowl, letting them go in and out. There's just so many things involved in owning a dog. And when you have four and you go down to none, it's just radically different. I just don't have any of that stuff. And over the months, it's felt more normal. Now, like I don't think at dinner time, oh, I need to feed the dogs. Whereas those first few months, it was just kind of ingrained like, oh, I should be feeding the dog. Oh wait, there's no dog. And it took a while to get used to that. And I held up a picture of Bella and Maya on our first Halloween as a little doggy family. We took them to Halloween at PetSmart and I have this photo in my scrapbook room of the four of us when they were still puppies, we dressed them up and it was really funny. We had Bella for I think 11 years, maybe 12 years. She was a pretty old dog for a Husky and I miss her. I still miss all the dogs. I even miss my childhood dog. It's just a, like they have this place in your heart. I wanna open our hearts up to a dog again at some point. You guys know we've talked about like we wanna get the little kid stage out of the way before we talk about adding more pets. It feels sad because we're still not completely over losing Bella, especially she was our last doggy. There are so many benefits to owning a pet and there are also so many benefits to not owning a pet. And right now we're just kind of embracing that no pet lifestyle right now. We can go and travel as we please. We don't have to worry about making accommodations for doggies. We can be out of the house all day. We always just have to worry about them. Of course they can hold it, but we don't want them to be holding it and being miserable inside. We don't want them to have to have accidents or anything. And it's nice to not have to just get up every so often and let the dog out because it seemed like they always wanted to go out, especially when we had multiple dogs. It seemed like somebody always wanted to go out and then they all would go out and then they all have to come back in. It was just a constant in and out situation all the time. And that got better when it was just Bella, of course, but that's just something we don't do anymore. We don't have to let the dogs out. One thing I really miss is my walking buddy. I really liked going on walks and I don't like going on walks just by myself anymore. I feel less secure not having the big dog with me. And so I don't go out and walk all by myself most of the time. Olivia and I take walks together mostly. The three of us take walks, especially since Olivia has started school. I would love to be able to take a daily walk with my dog and I don't have the dog. That's just something I don't feel as comfortable doing, just walking out by myself. Of course, our neighborhood's really safe, but you just never know what's gonna happen. And I just don't feel comfortable meandering around, especially like we're in a new build area and so there's always like big trucks and construction and tons of workers everywhere and all these houses that are like half built and it's kind of eerie like walking through the construction areas whether or not there are workers it's kind of weird and eerie to walk by all of that and so i just don't take walks on my own and if i still had bella i would totally be out there every day taking walks with her i just felt way more secure having her with me where I don't have that now. As far as the financial, when we were talking about budgeting before we budgeted, this was back when we were building the house, we were coming up with a budget to make sure our numbers would work with the new house mortgage. And we were trying to figure out how much we felt comfortable with our mortgage being. And Johnny ran numbers with our years past. He 
like pulled up all of our credit card statements and bank statements from the past couple of years previous and he averaged it all out. It was insane how much money we were spending on the dogs. A couple of them were on special medications. It seemed like we were always at the vet with one of them. We had, you know, the preventative medicines that add up. When you have four, those preventative medicines are expensive. You know, we were having this average giant chunk of expense with the dogs. I definitely don't think they were a burden at all, but it was eye-opening to see how much money we were spending on the dogs, and now we don't have that. So it was really like it made sense, like looking back, that was where a lot of our money went, was just towards dogs. And you guys know our little black dog, Emma, had some health issues. She was very expensive. She was like a prize level, competitive dog, expensive dog, and she was just a mutt we got at the animal shelter. That definitely brings us into, we'll probably get pet insurance for any future dogs so that they cover a lot of the stuff when the time comes because they're just very expensive. That kind of stuff just adds up really quickly and I think the pet insurance might have saved us a lot of money if we had had it. As far as the house and maintaining the house, I feel like it's way, way less messy in the house because we don't have to worry about the dog water spills or dog food spills or the accidents randomly here and there but I find that we have crumbs everywhere and I'm constantly still vacuuming or sweeping up crumbs. It used to be really convenient that if there was any speck of food on the ground, one of the dogs was going to eat it. And we just don't have that anymore. I'm constantly cleaning up crumbs. Other than that, I feel like the house is way cleaner. We don't have the dog hair. That was a constant struggle. Every once in a while, I will still find a piece of Bella hair. It's becoming rarer to find any hair, but I still every once in a while will find a Bella hair and it just, you never get rid of that stuff. <laughs> it's just, it's kind of like scrapbook glitter. Once you have it, it's just kind of everywhere. But overall, I feel like the house is way cleaner. Overall, I feel like things have gotten really simple, not having the pets, not having that added responsibility. But there's a lot of things I miss about it. I miss having a snuggle buddy and Bella was not a really snuggly dog. She'd come and sit next to me here and there. She's not one of the dogs that like to get up on the furniture, hardly at all. So she would rarely get on the bed or anything but the little dogs were my snuggle buddies. I always had one of the little dogs like in my lap or sitting next to me, and I really, really missed that. I loved that little instant warming that they would create, and I loved being able to snuggle with them. Olivia will snuggle with me some, but not to the same level as the little doggy. It seemed like anytime I was sitting down, there would be a doggy snuggling with me, and I really, really missed that. I think that's something you get more so with a little dog versus a big dog, and it's really a trade-off. I feel like with a bigger dog, you have that sense of security, with the little dog, you don't have that, but you get your little snuggle buddy. And I miss both. I really liked having big dogs and I really liked having small dogs. Looking forward to the future, I don't know when or what size dog that we will end up getting. I'm pretty much 99.999% sure that we will adopt again. I find that adopting in an area like Austin that's a no-kill area can be a little bit more tricky. I've heard some things about how the system works here. It's a little bit trickier to um, find a dog, whereas in a town like we were in previously, there's like one animal shelter, you go there, you pick out your dog, and there's always a lot of variety. From what I've heard and read, the no-kill shelters send the dogs out to rescue groups, and then you have to adopt them through the rescue groups. It's a little bit more intense than just like going down to the shelter, picking out your dog, and taking your dog home. A lot of times the rescue groups like have applications and they have to come to your home and investigate everything. Kind of like a mini true adoption, which I'm not so keen on. It makes the whole process a little bit more intense. So I don't know how that's gonna go. We've never adopted a dog like that, but that's definitely something that we will consider and look into. But on the same token, I really, really, really like the idea of the hybrid hypoallergenic dogs. I really don't know if I have it in me to get a dog from a breeder. I know there are a ton of reputable breeders out there that aren't like puppy mills and scary stuff, but I don't know if I can do that when I know like there are dogs that need homes in these shelters. I don't know that I can, I don't know that I can like special order a dog. It might be something that we will look into, but I just don't know that I'm gonna go there when I know like all those doggies need homes and of course the doggies that are bred also need homes as well. It just doesn't seem like the same need and urgency in those situations. I really don't know what the future holds. We definitely wanna hold off until Olivia's old enough to 
one, want a dog and ask for a dog, and two, be able to help and be responsible for the dog. It's gonna be the child or the children's dog. I really want it to be a learning and teaching experience. And that's how my first dog was for me. I was seven when I got my first dog and it taught me a lot about life, about loving something and being responsible for something. It was a beautiful life-changing experience for me. I might get a little choked up, but I want Olivia to experience that same thing that I did and that Johnny did. He was a little bit older when they got their dog, but it still had a profound impact on his life. And that's kind of what dogs do. <laughs> they just leave a really big impact on your life. Despite, you know, getting into trouble, we had a husky once chew up an entire couch. She just ripped the entire couch to shreds. <laughs> and so I don't know how many blankets and rugs that Bella ended up chewing up over her lifetime, but it was a lot. Dogs can definitely be naughty. They can destroy things. They can be very, very expensive, and it's really hard losing them, especially, but they are so, so worth it in the end. I definitely see us getting another dog at some point, but for now, I just wanted to tell you guys about our experience and how it went. As sad as we are to have lost them, we're really, really happy to be dog free for a while. It's really been this sense of freedom that we have not had before. And so I wanted to share this with you guys. I don't know how much you guys got out of this one, but it's something that I really wanted to talk about. Coming up on the year mark of losing her, I'll show you guys the picture one more time. Johnny and I were so young. I think we were like 18 or 19 there. So we were really, really young. But that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.